Hey everyone, it's Mike from Big Bite Media, and today we're going to go over how to do some smooth zooms to emphasize your content and keep things interesting, like MKBHD. Man, MKBHD videos are so good. From the set design, to the storytelling, to the edits. If you haven't seen one of his YouTube videos yet, I highly recommend checking out his channel. He's one of my favorite content creators. Something that always tends to stick out to me when watching an MKBHD video is when this smooth zoom happens. It happens throughout his videos for many different reasons, like for emphasis or for motion during longer shots. Many videos will crop and zoom in on different clips to get a similar effect. It's just not as smooth as MKBHD. So how can you do this in your videos? Well, let's find out. First, you need to make sure you have proper footage. You can't do a smooth zoom like this if you're trying to do it on a cut. A good way to make sure to get the proper footage is to take a breath and visualize the zoom in your head when you want it to happen. If you want to zoom in and out, be sure to pause and breathe both before and after what you want to emphasize. The rest all happens in your editing software. To create this effect, we're gonna use the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Once you have your clip in your timeline, we're gonna select the clip and then go to the Fusion tab. If you're not familiar with Fusion, don't worry. It could look way more intimidating than it really is. This is really just the visualization of what steps the computer is processing behind the scenes. So the first box shows the media being imported into the workflow, and the second box shows the media being rendered. Any effects that we want to apply need to happen in between these two boxes. Since we're looking to zoom in, then zoom out of the frame, we're going to need to use Transform. Simply click and drag the Transform icon from the toolbar to the line in between the Media In and Media Out box. This is going to give us the option to zoom and even more. Next, we need to find the frame that we want the zoom to start. We'll do this by scrolling through the frame selection to find the exact frame we want. In this case, it's right before I take a breath for the pause. Once you found it, click the little diamond icon next to the zoom line. This marks the frame you want to select values for and when the transition will start. Now we need to find the frame that we want the zoom to stop. This will be right before I say, it's just not as smooth as MKBHD. Once you find that frame, all you have to do is adjust the zoom to where you want it. Resolve will automatically mark the frame for you and you can navigate between your selected frames by clicking on the left and right arrows next to the red diamond on the transform settings. You could go ahead and click play and see how it looks. That looks great so far. We just need to zoom back out. How do you think we would do this? Feel free to pause the video and try to figure it out, or you could keep on watching. I always recommend challenging yourself to try to figure things out on your own. The more you do it, the better you'll become at problem solving and, well, engineering. Yes, I guess this is a form of engineering, we'll say. Shh. So to zoom out, we need to set the frame where we want it to begin to zoom out. For our clip, it'll be right after I make the comment, it's just not as smooth as MKBHD. All that's left to do is set the frame we want the zoom out to stop and set the value back to one. This will be before I start talking again. Awesome, let's click play and see our work. For those of you new to Fusion, all you need to do is navigate back to the edit workflow and you'll now see the Fusion icon on the bottom right of the clip that you just edited. This shows the effect has been applied. If you click play to preview the edit, you will see the effect. If your computer is struggling to render the preview, you could actually toggle Fusion effects on or off by clicking the Fusion icon on the top right of the preview screen. And there you are. If this video helped you out at all, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in more videos about content creation. As always, thank you for watching and until next time.
I hope this corny wave thing isn't gonna be my brand. I should probably stop doing that, huh? Eek.